Greetings fellow Earthlings, what you are about to see is a short overview of the television show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and its fanbase. Since some of you may not be very familiar with this show, a brief history of the My Little Pony franchise may be in order. Created in 1981 by American illustrator Bonnie Zakurley, My Little Pony is a brand of toys owned by the company Hasbro, marketed primarily to girls. Since its creation, several toy lines have been released which collectors have grouped into four generations. All of these, with the exception of Generation 2, have spawned animated television features. In the mid-80s, G1 led to the creation of two syndicated specials, Rescue at Midnight Castle and Escape from Katrina, MLP the Movie, the only theatrical feature film released to date, and My Little Pony and Friends, a 65 episode series. In 1992, a second series, My Little Pony Tales, was released, also part of Generation 1. Although targeting an audience of young girls, the G1 television features, particularly the first two specials, were not as bad as is often considered today. Eleven years later, the release of G3 Pony Toys led to a reboot of the television franchise to a series of direct-to-video animated features. These were of significantly lower quality than the G1 animations, taking a nosedive with the release of Twinkle Wheels Adventure and hitting rock bottom with God Please Kill Me Now, Newborn Cutie, So Many Different Ways to Play. <laughs> both part of which is referred to as G2.5, in terms of both animation and plot quality. As a result, when G4 appeared and Hasbro decided to start a new television series, there was little doubt that it would be pretty much just as girly and boring as the previous generations. However... <laughs> That turned out not to be entirely accurate. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic all started with Lauren Faust, the initial creative director and executive producer of the show. She is also known for her work on the Powerpuff Girls and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Faust is out to reduce the girliness factor of My Little Pony by creating more in-depth characters and adventurous settings. The pilot episode aired on October 10th, 2010. The series received positive reviews from critics who praised the animation, the complexity of the characters, the humor and the messages about friendship. It was a negative review, however, that triggered the internet popularity of the show. Amit Amity of the website Cartoon Brew wrote an essay called The End of the Creator-Driven Era in TV Animation, in which he lamented it as part of the trend towards profitable genres of animation, MLP being a toy based and all. This sparked a reaction from animation and cartoon fans on the website 4chan, leading to an increase in interest for the show. Thus, ponies started taking over the site through memes and recurring jokes. This caused quite a bit of a stir, flame wars between pony fans and pony haters, ultimately leading to a ban against pony content on 4chan. The ban was eventually lifted. Discussion of the show spread to other parts of the internet, leading to the creation of fan sites such as Equestria Daily and Pony Chan, in order to share fan content and pony news. Interest for ponies also spread outside the internet to small meetups and conventions such as BronyCon. MLP fans go by the name of Bronies, a portmanteau of the terms bro and pony, which generally refers to male MLP fans over 13, but is often extended to include older female fans as well. Fandom has gained media attention to various outlets, such as Wired and Wall Street Journal, either positive. I want to give a big shout out here, out there, to all my Bronies who may be watching. <laughs> or negative. These are grown men. Oh, wow who stay home from work and have now started filing for disability like Baby Man because they love My Little Pony so much. FOX NEWS! But what exactly is this show all about? Surprisingly, it appears to address friendship and how, supposedly, it is magic. No, really? The action takes place in the magical land of Equestria. A thousand years in the past, the land was ruled by the two alicorn princesses, Celestia and Luna. Alicorns are immortal winged unicorns. The former was in charge of raising the sun in the day, while the latter brought up the moon at night. In time, Luna grew jealous of Celestia, for the little ponies the two ruled over played and laughed in the daytime, but shunned and slept through the night. Luna's anger eventually transformed her, and she became dreaded Nightmare Moon, threatening to plunge Equestria into eternal night. Using the power of the element of harmony, Celestia defeated her sister, banishing her in the moon. Observe that it is in the moon, not on the moon, as is commonly portrayed. In the present, Twilight Sparkle, a unicorn and prize student of Princess Celestia, discovers that an alignment of the stars will aid in the release of Nightmare Moon. She voices her concerns to the princess, only to be sent to Ponyville with her baby dragon assistant Spike, and instructed to study less and make some friends, much to her chagrin. 
While inspecting the preparations for the summer sun celebration, Twilight meets five ponies, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Fluttershy. The next morning, as the town gathers to watch the sunrise, they are greeted by Nightmare Moon, who, as predicted, had escaped an initiated never-ending night. Together with the five ponies she had met previously, Twilight sets off to recover the elements of harmony from the heart of the Everfree Forest. On the way, they are faced with five obstacles planted by Nightmare Moon, each of which are dealt with by one of her friends. They eventually arrive at the old castle of the princesses. After locating the elements of harmony, Twilight is overcome with the realization that the five ponies she has encountered are her friends, which enables her to associate each element, honesty, kindness, laughter, generosity, and loyalty, to one of her friends, and summon the sixth element, magic. The combined power of the elements defeats Nightmare Moon, returning her to the last known good configuration, that of a thousand years prior. The sun rises and Celestia appears, explaining to Twilight that she sent her to Ponyville so that she might unleash the magic required to defeat Nightmare Moon by learning friendship. The two Alicorn sisters decide to put their differences behind them and rule together once more. Twilight is instructed to remain in Ponyville and continue to study friendship and communicate her discoveries to Celestia. Thus, the following episodes are generally represented by finding a solution to the friendship problem and the summarization of said problem in a letter to Celestia. There have been quite a few exceptions, however. I didn't learn anything! Along with the complexity of the plot, the other plot, viewers were intrigued by the complexity of the characters, which were no longer as flat as those of prior generations. The show generally revolves around the main six mares. Twilight Sparkle, the element of magic, is a bright, studious unicorn who considers that books are the answer to pretty much everything. Capable of quite powerful magic, Twilight is known to occasionally be overly organized, which can lead to daunting results. <laughs> but her analytical approach to problems is often a powerful asset. Applejack, the element of honesty, is a down-to-earth, dependable earth pony. Always working, 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 till eventually... <sighs> Just kidding. She runs an apple business in Ponyville and manages Sweet Apple Acres, a hell of a big apple orchard. E yep. Rainbow Dash, the element of loyalty, is a bold, proud, Pegasus pony. Part of the weather control unit of Ponyville, she has the ability of speed, hypersonic speed, and dreams of one day joining the Wonderbolts, a group of the strongest flyers in Equestria. She is known to sometimes clash with Applejack, but their friendship is always restored to full capacity. Shut up, internet. Pinkie Pie, the element of laughter, is a hyperactive party expert and party animal. Pink Earth Pony, her favorite hobbies including playing pranks, singing like a boss, breaking the fourth wall, and making cupcakes. Internet, I'll get you, and it'll look like a bloody accident. Fluttershy, the element of kindness, is a timid pegasus capable of communicating with animals and giving you diabetes. Despite generally being excessively shy, she has been known to blow her top with the force of a Category 5 hurricane. No pony pushes new Fluttershy around! No pony! Rarity, the element of generosity, is a glamorous unicorn fashionista. Although occasionally acting like a female canid and being a bit of a whiner, but I thought you wanted whining. she's forever ready to aid and stand up for her friends. Aside from the main six, there are several other important characters. Spike, a baby dragon, is Twilight's number one assistant and good friend. One of his responsibilities is writing and sending Twilight's letters to Celestia via flame mail. He also appears to have a slight crush on Rarity. Celestia, co-ruler of Equestria, is an alicorn princess and Twilight Sparkle's mentor. The most powerful being in Equestria, she is wise, kind, and blessed with a subtle sense of humor. I said subtle. Luna is Celestia's sister and ruler of the night. Although no longer the evil Nightmare Moon, she occasionally has small issues adjusting after being trapped in the moon for a thousand years. But ultimately, her gentle personality and softness of voice Aid her to blend in with the locals. Discord, the Draconicus, is the spirit of chaos and disharmony. You see, this is the first rule of our game. No flying and no magic. That voice sound familiar? After breaking free from his stone prison, he brings his wrath upon Equestria, said wrath consisting of chocolate rain, dancing buffalo, and an overall increase in entropy. He is eventually defeated with the power of the elements of harmony. Chrysalis is the queen of the changelings, a race of pony-like shapeshifters that feed on love. You were saying... That voice. She attempts to take over Equestria by impersonating the Alicorn Princess Cadence, but is eventually defeated by the love between Cadence and Shining Armor. That's the power! 
The Cutie Mark Crusaders, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Bell, and Scootaloo are a group of fillies that endeavors to get their cutie marks, which are images on ponies flanks that indicate the special talent of said pony, thereby indicating their purpose in life. So far, the Cutie Mark Crusaders' efforts have been unsuccessful. The popularity of the show has led to vast amounts of fan-made content all over the internet. This includes pony music videos, PMVs, pony music, fan-made animations, both 2D and 3D, Gentlemen. games, art, YTPs, YouTube poops, YTP MVs, YouTube poop music videos, fan fiction, food, and so on. This one cannot be adequately told what fan content really is. Here's a small taste of it. You try your best, but it's not quite there. Yeah, here we top. Go beyond the garden and be the queen. You know that you're destined to be. You gotta follow your heart. Now that's a start to be serene. You're glowing and showing the world. You're so the people should know it. You gotta beat the heat. These haters coming hard. Ready to break down your armies and go shatter your walls. But you know inside you're not a typical girl. You're gonna show us let your story unfurl. You can't go. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there came an era when the ideals of friendship gave way to greed, selfishness, paranoia, and a jealous reaping of dwindling space and natural resources. Lands took up arms against their neighbors. The end of the world occurred much as we had predicted. The world was plunged into an abyss of balefire and dark magic. We crank that base up to 11 and cleave off the dishes on a microscopic level! Yeah! I was going to be first chair cellist for the Royal Cantalot Symphony. How is this my life? He's starting to warm up, but still no smile. Hmm. Let's put a smile on that face. Was a bit unexpected. Hmm, let's have a look around then. The trees are the same, the birds are the same. A bit too sunny to be English weather. A bit primitive, perhaps. Wonder where I am, Thomas getting all walking like that. Well, best I try to fix it Hi! up then. <laughs> Nicht in der Bunkeranlage. Was soll das heißen? Sie können Fegelan nicht finden. Dann suchen Sie ihn eben. Ich will Fegelan sehen. Sofort! Wenn er sich ohne Befehl entfernt hat, ist das Fahnenflug. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, despite all the lame jokes, the poor script, the rush editing, my lack of vocal skills, and of course, the. Anyway, if you haven't yet, check out the show, check out the fan content, I promise you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, and may you have a nice day.